Surface-to-air missile or SAM systems are ground-based systems that serve as an integral part of a given air defense apparatus. Designed to destroy aircraft, other missiles and even unmanned aerial vehicles, SAM systems have replaced most other forms of dedicated anti-aircraft platforms, including anti-aircraft guns which are now used in special circumstances. In today's video, we will be looking at the primary surface-to-air missile system used by the United States Army, the MIM-104 Patriot. The MIM-104 Patriot is a long-range, all-altitude, all-weather air defense system designed to counter aircraft, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. Produced by Raytheon and Lockheed Martin, the initial design work began in the late 1960s, during a time when anti-air missiles were still evolving as a viable air defense weapon. Over time, the system was named Patriot, and in 1981, it entered service with the U.S. Army. Large-scale deployment began in 1984, but the Patriot gained prominence during the Persian Gulf War in 1991, when it was already upgraded to provide limited capability against tactical ballistic missiles, with the Patriot Advanced Capability 2, or PAC-2 missile and system upgrade. The most recent upgrade, called the PAC-3, has a nearly total redesign, and is intended primarily for intercepting ballistic missiles, while increasing the system's lethality, effectiveness, and scope. Replacing the Nike Hercules as the primary height of medium air defense system, and the MIM-23 Hawk as the medium tactical air defense system, the PAC-3 has been given the function of the U.S. Army's primary anti-ballistic missile system. Let's look at the PAC-3 system's design and some of its vital components. The MIM-104 Patriot is a modular and highly mobile system, deployed as a battalion. As a multi-platform system of systems, the Patriot uses a host of launchers, sensors and supporting assets to operate. The three most important ones are the fire control station, the launch station and the missiles. The fire control station is the heart of the Patriot battery, consisting of four main components. The radar set is a passive electronically scanned array radar, equipped with identification, friend or foe, ECCM, and track via missile guidance subsystems among other capabilities. The engagement control station is the command and control unit of the entire system, housed in a shelter mounted on the chassis of a cargo truck. The antenna mast group is used to create a secure, real-time data network among the different Patriot major end items. As the fourth component of the fire control station, the electric power plant is the power source for the whole system. The launching stations of the Patriot system are remotely operated, self-contained units with four canisters. The missile canister serves as both the shipping and storage container and the launch tube itself. The Patriot fires the MIM-104 series missiles. Twelve different variants have been deployed so far. The latest PAC-3 upgrade with anti-ballistic capabilities features an active radar seeker which allows the missile to drop its uplink to the system and acquire its target in the terminal phase of its intercept. It is therefore accurate enough to select, target, and home in on the warhead portion of an inbound ballistic missile. Wonder how the Patriot works? Here is a brief breakdown. The radar sweeps the sky for threats. If an incoming object is detected, the radar helps determine if it's a missile, fighter jet, cruise missile or an unmanned aerial vehicle. In the engagement control station, the operators communicate with friendly forces, monitor threats and prioritize targets, but the system is capable of working completely autonomously as well. Once the computer defines the parameters and options for the highest probability of kill, the engagement takes place automatically, and two missiles are launched 4.2 seconds apart in a ripple to ensure complete elimination of the threat. A notable upgrade of the Patriot system is the PAC-3 Missile Segment Enhancement Upgrade, or MSE. Making the missile more agile and extending its range by up to 50%, the MSE upgrade consists of the PAC-3 MSE missile itself, the M903 launching station, a fire solution computer, and an enhanced launcher electronics system. These improvements will extend the altitude and range through a more powerful dual pulse motor for added thrust, larger fins and other structural modifications for more agility, making the PAC-3 MSE capable of intercepting longer-range ballistic missiles. The U.S. Army accepted the first PAC-3 MSE in October 2015. Apart from the U.S., the Patriot system is in operation with the armed forces of several NATO member states, in addition to Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait and the UAE, among others. Gaining prominence during the Persian Gulf War of 1991, the system was again used during the 2003 Iraq War, the Yemen conflict, 
the 2014 Israel-Gaza conflict, as well as the Syrian civil war. In 2019, the Patriot made headlines when it failed to stop aerial attacks on Saudi Arabia's oil processing facilities. Following this incident, U.S. troops were sent to provide better air and missile defenses, but the truth of the matter is that air attacks by low-flying drones and cruise missiles are exactly the types of systems the Patriot is having trouble defending against. It remains to be seen whether the Patriot system will receive the necessary upgrades to be able to defend against such threats. What do you think about this weapon system? Let us know in the comments below. If you're interested in defense and want to keep up with the latest developments, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.